hi guys welcome to solution domain this is Vikram here today in this video we are going to see how to auto populate data of one field to another by writing plugin code and registering through plugin registration tool for example in account entity if you want to auto populate account name in fax field then how do you write plugin code and register it we will see in this video Open Visual Studio, create a new C Sharp console application project. Later during the build time, we are switching back to C Sharp class library project. I am doing this way to avoid .NET framework errors. First you need to delete this class and create a new class. Click on the project and then right click on it. Go to add and then select class give a class name followed by cs extension and then click on add button now i already have the auto populate uh, plugin code i'm going to copy it and paste it here once we have the code you need to add the references you can see these red marks they are errors these are the errors so you need to add the references to add references right click on the references and select manage nuget packages Next click on browse and search for Microsoft CRM.SDK.CoreAssemblies. I am going to select 9.0.0.7 version and I am going to click on install and accept the license. Now after installing the references you can see 0 errors, 0 warnings but 3 messages. It is because of uh, we are not using tracing services that's why we are getting 3 messages. Here I have taken a string variable called account name. Uh, what is our requirement? Our requirement is in account entity whenever we type account name it has to auto populate in fax field. Right? For that I have taken a string variable called account name and account name equals entity dot attributes the logical name of account name. To get the logical names you need to install this level up extension in your chrome browser to get your logical names easily. I am going to copy the logical name of account name and I am going to paste it in entity.attributes.logical name that is name and it will be converted to string and will be stored in our string variable account name. Next, what is the target field that we want to auto populate our account name? It is fax field, right? For that, we need to copy the logical name of that fax field and we have to paste it in this code. After that, we need to pass our string variable here which contains the account name. To auto populate the data we are using entity.attributes.add method which will display the account name in fax field. Next right click on the project and select properties. Here we are switching back to class library project from console application. This is to avoid .NET framework errors. Next click on signing tick mark the signing the assembly and select new and type a strong key file name here and uncheck this protect my file with a password and click on ok button next right click on the project and click on build as you can see the build has been started build 1 succeeded 0 failed 0 updated 0 skipped and right click on the solution and click on build if you don't see anything in the output again right click on the solution and click on rebuild. Now you can see 1 succeeded, 0 failed and 0 skipped. Right click on your project and select open in file explorer, open bin folder, open debug folder, copy the folder URL. Next 
Next open plugin registration tool and create a new connection. Type your login username and password and click on login button. Next to register your plugin code DLL, click on register drop down and select register new assembly. Next click on this button and paste the folder URL that you have copied and hit enter. Paste it and hit enter. Next select your project DLL file and click on open button. Leave the rest as it is and click on register selected plugins. Now you can see one plugin registered and one assembly registered. Click on OK button. When your plugin should trigger, for that you need to register a step. Click on register drop down and select and select register a new step. And which message you are going to register your plugin? We are going to register our plugin on create message. Here primary entity is account. We don't have any secondary entity. So we are going to type it as none. In event pipeline stage of execution, you can either select pre-validation or pre-operation. You cannot select post operation because it will throw error. For create message, you need to either select pre-validation or pre-operation in pipeline stage. And next I'm going to select synchronous and click on register new step. Now your plugin has been registered successfully. Open Dynamic 365 homepage and refresh it. Next select account entity and click on plus new button. Here I have typed Infosys as account name and when I click on save button it should auto populate in fax field. Uh, ignore this, this is my javascript running. Boom, now you can see the account name has been auto populated in the fax field. This is how we write plugin code to auto populate data of one field to another field. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Until then be safe and take care.